Voice of Freedom on Freedom 107. It is 749, 11 minutes away from 8 o'clock on this Thursday morning. This is the Voice of Freedom, 903-793-1071, 903-793-1071. We're talking about the water situation and the Arkla tax because the, the, the Riverbend issue, this is one of the things we kept trying to talk about when they were trying to put together the Riverbend legislation, is that Riverbend just doesn't affect Bowie County. Riverbend affects Red River County, Bowie County, Cass County, and Miller County, and other entities uh, in the Arklatax. And uh, Mayor Wayne Smith is in studio this morning talking about this because you've got a town hall meeting coming up tonight that we're looking forward to, matter of fact, because it happens at 5.30 tonight, Four States Fairgrounds, at the Ag Learning Center. Now, if you don't mind, put on the headphones there. We've got a caller on the line, and I'm sure they have a, a question for you because... You know, it's one thing for me to talk about this. It's a whole other thing for an expert to come along and talk about because you live this. I don't. Good morning. Welcome to the Voice of Freedom. Yes. Uh, my name's John Power, and I was the chair of the Texarkana Charter Committee. Yes, there sir. There was a comment that was made by Mayor Smith that our charter was a blueprint for the dismantling of the Texarkana water utilities. I'd just like to make, set the record straight that in our deliberations, we never discussed Texarkana Water Utilities, our relationship with the, Texar- the city of Texarkana, Arkansas, and what the end results of water issues in the city of Texarkana, Texas, were going to be. We did discuss allowing, taking words of adjoining cities, understanding that as the community grows in the next 50 years, things may change. But at no time did we ever discuss with the city staff anything regarding the city of Texarkana, Arkansas, Texarkana Water Utilities, or River Bend. I'd just like to set the record straight. Thank you. Well, hang hang on just a second, John. Uh, Mayor Smith, go ahead. John, uh, I must take you for your word, but I look at this, and uh, the city official made the statement that as soon as River Bend is passed and the charters changed that they will be able to divest themselves of TWU. I look at the three changes, not the whole charter. I'm looking at the ones that affect TWU, which affects Texas Arkansas. And there are three changes that specifically provides the city of Texas Texas to divest themselves of uh, TWU. Whether it was your intention or not, I don't know. I'm just saying that the city officials are using this, and it is certainly suspicious in my mind. For one of them is, I will take, is, is that one change. The current says that the city shall have the right to jointly operate any utility system or sewer system with any adjoining city, whether located within Texas or Arkansas. The proposed change is that the city shall have the right to jointly operate any utility system or sewer system with any governing agency. And you know what? I will guarantee you, uh, John, that as soon as this, if this charter is passed, which I hope it's not, but if it is, a river bend is going to be that governing agency. Now, whether or not that was your intent, that's what it's being used for, and that's what it appears to be. It's, it is a blueprint to divest himself of TWU. Sure. John? Um, John John has left us. All right, uh, and that's the way, from from what I'm hearing, it sounds as if that with the new city charter that they will in, indeed be able to pretty much do what they want to do when it comes to utilities. That is right. They they will be able to. They, uh, uh, you know, prior to if the charter passes, mm-hmm. okay, the requirement that the current uh, charter says that the city shall not sell, convey, lease, mortgage, or otherwise alienate any public utility without prior approval by the qualified voters of the city. That is completely removed. Mm. So that means that if the city manager wants to fire TWU, Mm -hmm. then he can do that without any uh, contact or any input from the city voters of Texas Texas. That Mm. is wrong. Yeah. 903-793-1071. 903-793-1071. Good morning. Thanks for joining the Voice of Freedom. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mayor. How are you? This is Leroy Dodd. Leroy Dodd calling on the phone this morning. Go ahead, sir. Well, I just wanted to commend the mayor this morning for being uh, 
an, um, an individual who is uh, independently investigating uh, our local politics and, and making sure that we provide a government that, that serves the people. Uh, for so long, we've had people rubber stamping things and moving uh, our government in a direction without, you know, uh, looking at what the people needs are. And I think that's, that's something that it's time out for that. And it's finally uh, great to hear and see, you know, elected officials step up and be an independent voice that really represents what's best for the, the citizens of our region, of the city here in Texas County, Texas, as well as Texas County, Arkansas. I, I commend you on what you're doing. Great job. I appreciate it, sir. Thanks for calling in. Mm-hmm. So you do have some backing there. <laughs> and, I, and I do appreciate Mr. Dodd calling in. in and uh, I, you know, I mean, when I became mayor, when I ran for mayor, it's not an ego trip for me. Mm-hmm. I, I did it because I believe that I owe our community uh, what it's provided to me, a sure. great life, a great place to live. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I owe a service back to the community. I'm not in it to for an ego. I'm not in it for, certainly not in it for money. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm not in it for power or authority. I'm in it because I do believe that uh, the citizens have a right to have someone that will stand up and fight for them and not for some other hidden agenda. And mm-hmm. that's what I'm doing is, is that, you know, I'm doing what's right, I think is right for the citizens. If the citizens disagree, well, they will have an opportunity tonight to tell me mm-hmm. that they do not believe I'm going in the right direction. And that's one reason I, I'm wanting to have a town hall meeting. I want to make sure that I'm doing uh, the citizens' business and not my business because uh, that's what I was elected for. And I will listen if you know if, if uh, tonight, mm-hmm. uh, when once the town hall's over with, uh, you know if, if there's a significant change, then I will change my direction because you know what what I what I want doesn't matter. It's what the citizens want. That's what counts. That's what representative government's all about. Five thirty tonight, Four States Fairgrounds Ag Learning Center. Mayor Wayne Smith will conduct the town hall meeting, and I'm telling you. Uh, this is not just for the citizens of Texarkana, Arkansas. This is for the citizens of Texarkana, Texas, citizens of Bowie County, Cass County, Red River County. Uh, get to this meeting and find out what's going on with your water. Coming up next, Fox News followed by the Glenn Bag Program. This is the Voice of Freedom.